thing. Oh. Oh, it's a puppy. Hello, puppy. I love you. My name is Pooter, and welcome to Let's Play The Red Lantern. Um, The Red Lantern is uh, a game made by Timberline Studios, and this is their debut title. It's on the Epic Game Store and on the Nintendo Switch right now. So from what I can gather from the description on the game and from the trailer on it and everything is that you're pretty much a, a dog handler or a musher, I think is what they're called. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. You're a you're a dog handler that's trying to get to the point where you can run the Iterod race, which is like this really huge. If you don't know what that is, it's this really huge, uh, like long dog sled race in Alaska. <clears throat> And you're just some girl with a bunch of dogs trying to make things work. As you can see, we have a pretty pooch already in the title screen. And I personally am here for it. So, without further ado, I don't know if I can use my mouse. Hold on, let's just let's just start. This is also a narrative game, so you may not hear me talk a lot because they're going to be in the middle of talking. Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those All the ones time. that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. But that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. Well, that is right, puppy. It's not a problem for you, is it, buddy? You just, Chomper. you are who you are. World's best pup <gasps> and friend. Chomper. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. Ah, oh, Chomper, you're so cute. Hello, Chomper. See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had be pretty lost. I'm yeah, sure Chopper. I wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. That would be pretty cool. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. That's cute. Chomper, well, you're adorable. Let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Mm. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Um, we need someone who can match our drive. I'm tired of people thinking we can't cut it. Ooh. Slayer? Uh, Slayer? Oh boy. I'll, uh, give you your distance. Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. Yeah. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall <laughs> in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. That's funny. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. True. Slayer. Slayer, you're cute. I just have to say you're adorable. Uh, you have to be prepared for anything. We're not looking to run from anything. I mean, if we have to, we might, but we're here to face it all. To see what we're really made of. Well, Slayer, sure. what do you think? I've got a good pup with me, too. I think you'll like him. Yeah, we're taking Slayer. Come Slayer, on, man. If you're ready, I am, too. Can we really be Welcome choosy? Oh, Slayer. Chomper, say hi. <laughs> You're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? Can I pet him? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary back there. 
I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. Fair enough. If I can handle things out here, I'll be fine for what's back in the city. And I think you'll find <laughs> you're stronger than you expect. Well, yeah, fair enough. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Okay. So can you really be choosy, though? Oh my god, you are on top of that. God, your eyes are blue. <gasps> you're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't think it's a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? First so you retired, cute. but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. But that's the thing. It's giving me a choice, but can I be choosy? Oh, bro. You break my heart. What do I choose? I'm such a dog lover, I don't know what to do. Um, okay. All right, Stolten, you're co you're coming with us, dude. You're way too you're way too I cute. I know some pups that would love to have you around. But okay, so I think for like we have to be young. The rest of the so was, oh team. my god. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You are so you cute. Fun. You got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. Exactly. I hear moose Still in New York, you. Bears. Is that true? I'm going to take that growl as a yes. They know. We're out here to become a real dog musher and... So they are dog mushers, one okay. Day win a race or two. How's that sound? Um... Sometimes you just need a new challenge? You get caught up in your head about what you can and can't do and... This will show us what we're really capable of. This dog is so cute. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is going to be like, but we're definitely going to have an adventure. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup, but I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six yeah. dogs to go, <clears throat> and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Okay, well, if you would have told me the number beforehand, I would have maybe let him go. You really hey, like to Are you dig Finn? holes? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes it led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... Yeah, I'm not really going to do the tracking dog, although you're really cute. I'm looking to become a champion. I know I've got to get started and learn the ways of Alaska first, but I've got long-term goals to think about. I don't know if I want to lose sight of them. I suppose we're not just out here to race. I mean, we're not even racing yet. We've got to figure out how we plan to live out here, how we plan to support ourselves. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Man, they give you the ultimatum, but you only have... Uh... Uh... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you stay here. Like you got a good thing going here. You can curate your collection, and you still get plenty of long walks to sniff out new treasures. Enjoy it, Finn. It's great meeting you. Yeah, my next two ones, I've got to be like fast. Okay, so oh, so chopper. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs, and we have five more stops. I think we'll be okay. This hard, this first part is a hard, because you don't really, oh. Barkley. Oh, small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're going to make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness and that you always stuck by your musher's side but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win but now you've become restless being stuck back in the kennel howling at night for the wild you can't get to yeah i can get that well we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home we'll see plenty of wild things i'm sure and i'd like to avoid the fights i can't win too i think this could be good for both of us listen all right you look, what do you think? your name is Barkley, okay? With a name like Barkley, 
I gotta adopt you. You're just what, Barkley. Come on. I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Shall we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature. You're gonna miss, listen. They called him Barkley because he's like Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley's huge. Um, I'm gonna call you Snoozer. Maybe Mouse. Snoozer is definitely a better fit. Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. Yeah, let's keep Barkley. He's big like Charles Barkley, duh. Don't you know your NBA dogs players? Is so easy. I basically just love all of you. <laughs> our team is almost complete, and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. I feel like we need to find someone that's like speed. Iggy. Igloo. Where are you, girl? Oh my god. You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. You are cute. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? You look like my dog, Anakin. Oh, Only he's smaller. Snowball. <laughs> so Big, cute. fluffy, loud. You're a lovely pup, but you seem pretty happy here. Take care, pal. I'm gonna pass on Iggy. I don't know if Iggy brought anything to the team. We're nearly a complete pack. <laughs> Only one more pup and the team is done, and we still have three more to meet. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision. Uh, Bodega? Did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... I don't know, not if he's eating too much, not in the Take beginning. Care, These last ones are rough. Oh, we're getting so close to a complete team. Okay, we've got a few more stops left, and we only need one more pup. I know we'll find the right one. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what the next one, what the next one is. Oh, oh. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. So that sounds like it's a it's a trade off, like high energy, but you have to rest a lot. You know what? Let's let's grab Gale. Let's finish the team. <clears throat> you really want that window open? Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah. This should be fun. Happen. Snow for sure. You're so cute. And you're you're weather, cutie. But oh, you're you're cutie. I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. That is what adventure's all about. Girl. We've got a pretty good team assembled so far. Some speed, some strength, some smarts. I think we just might be all right. I'm trying to go for like a well-rounded <laughs> team. Let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element. Never let that wind leave your fur. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. Very true. Head out to our new home. What could go wrong? Okay, yep, that's the that's the developer, Timberline Studios. This is their debut game. The Red Lantern. I really like the intro. <clears throat> I'm a fan of the intro. I really am a fan. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like, but it'll get us there. We just have to- It's on a, it's on a dire <laughs> So you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. Look at all these dogs, dude. Ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. 
All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Yep. Look at look at, <laughs> look at Slayer. Slayer, Gale, Stilton, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? I put in some meat. Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Well, and there's a bunch of other stuff. Something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. I think all skunks oh, was the issue. And most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we should start. Look at these what dogs. Uh, mush on. Okay, so they kind of have a mind of their own a little bit, too. Yeah, we are killing it. The yeah, on show you run into encounters. Encounters have risks, but also rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into encounters costs hunger. Okay. Oh, look at that. An elk. It's so majestic. You okay, Slayer? You're looking a little more skittish than normal. Whoa, Slayer! I hadn't made up my mind yet. I can't just run away. Yeah, did. Okay, fine. We won't check out that elk. Okay, Slayer does not like elk. Fair enough. Trail markers. Your trail line if you cross a trail marker. When either your hunger meter or the dog's energy meter is... Oh, okay. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use... Ha for left and G for right. So let's go. So I don't really know where I am though. That's kind of the problem. We started there, mountains. I'm going to say right. Oh, you pop see that? It's a caribou. Okay, I feel like we're we're getting there. I'm gonna pass this really quick. Let's go. G. Looks like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. All right, we're gonna hunt this. Stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. Okay, it's just a miss. You have to try again if you want to succeed, right? We'll all have some food tonight. No okay, one cool. to starve tonight. <clears throat> okay, so the shooting mechanic's a little weird. That was worth it. Some more food. You pups look hungry. Yeah, can we camp? Yeah, let's let's camp. We've got one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. Can I? Wait, I'm like really confused. It's not letting me camp. 
Let's go, Chopper. Should we camp? We uh, set up a pretty good camp. <coughs> We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. I hear you can eat, eat filling your hunger meter. Can't be a vegetarian in these times. Um, That's pretty sweet. You can use the dog bowl to feed your dogs filling their energy. And you can sleep restraining maximum capacity of loss by being tired. Okay. I'm going to pet you, Barkley, because you are cute. Ready for pets, Barkley? Oh my god, I am dying. You are so cute. Oh my god. Barkley is loving this. Look at that face. Look at that face. You're such a good boy. Okay. Food time. Chow down, pups. <laughs> Oh, that costs... Oh! Okay, we should probably save some because we're going to have to... A fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. There we go, boys. Okay, Stilton, come here. You keeping a lookout for all of us? Oh my god, you are so cute. Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. <laughs> Maybe some of these. <laughs> and a bit of a scratch here. <laughs> this is the cutest game in existence. Oh my god. My heart is melting. Gail, come here, crazy. Ah, oh, come here, buddy. Oh my god, look at that face. Alright. Let's uh let's go back to, to sleep. Rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning. But the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Oh wait, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you eat. How do I I'm ready to cook some food. Oh, okay, got it. I'm just gonna do one. Perfect. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? Yeah, let's get some. Let's get some sleep. Six hours. Get back on the trail. Ready to go? Let's yeah, so let's get out of here. We'll have to stop and get me some food. <laughs> you guys are crazy. What's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? This shot should be a gimme. Sheesh, you're smaller than I thought. Hey, look what I found. Some more food. That's gonna be big. We don't need bullets to survive. Ready to go? We gotta try to make up. I have to get used to all the parts I never wanted to. Who would have thought I'd expand my palate out here? Well, besides the meat, and the side of meat, and the moose bouche of meat. But we'll eat what we can get, right? You know, I don't think I'll ever get used to killing my own food. I can do my best to make sure I'm Oh, okay, so the map updates to where you are. Got it. Hey, those look like birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. Yeah, we need to start a fire. Are you both birch? I did not learn the proper mnemonic devices for tree recognition. Well, Margo told me to rip off the bark from birch, and only one of these looks to have rippable bark. 
And the others are supposed to be Aspen, I think. They don't burn as well, but they look a lot like birch from afar. I'll consider myself lucky we have both here. Dear God. Ugh. You're supposed to be like paper. Come here. Okay, so that works up an appetite. But hey, we're not gonna freeze. Hey, pups. This birch will really help. Ready to go? <clears throat> yeah, my girl's gonna be hungry for a little bit, but we gotta get some extra time in, and I wasted oh, no. precious ammo. Um. Huh. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. I starved. Uh, uh, a nightmare. Oh. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? I know what to be wary of. Okay. <clears throat> I've never met a tree I didn't like, felt small out of the plains. Are there really a million lakes here? Successfully identified a birch tree. Love to pet my pups. <laughs> Same. <clears throat> I'm kind of getting right, the shooting uh, mechanic. Kevin's supposed to be... There. I think we're ready to go. Uh, mush on. Oh, no, I have to pick it. Now, I wonder if it's going to save as I go through. Looks like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. Let's uh, let's go ahead and hunt this. Get some extra, some extra meat. Stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. You got to wait for the opportune moment. Perfect shot. Which is good, because I'm getting lightheaded. No one has to starve tonight. God, that's a terrible thought. Why did I want this to be my reality? Well, at least I feel properly alive. And I am getting kind of good at this. <laughs> nice. That was worth it. Some more food. Three bullets left. All right. Let's mush on. Looks like we found some birch trees. Grab some more of this. I don't have to do To start fires. <laughs> that was more work than it should have been. Yo, Let's get back to it. Honestly, the voice acting in this game is really, really good. Thanks for waiting, pups. I think we're going to. Virtual, really. All right. Let's mush on. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Should we camp? Let's go ahead and do it. This is a good spot to rest. We're going to... A fire would be nice. Feed everybody. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. Okay. Let's go through the pets. Come here, Barkley. I'm gonna Thanks, give you Barkley? the pets. Oh, you're so cute. You keeping a lookout for all of us? Your totes adorbs. Oh, let's get those pets in, buddy. Scratches, scratches, scratches. <laughs> so adorable. I'm ready to cook some food. Let's, um, how many do we have? We have six? So if I do this... I wish they gave you a little bit more, like, when you ate. Food time! Chow down, pups. <laughs> I may end up having just one left, but okay. Get back on the trail. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get back out. There. <clears throat> now that I know, it just makes you do it at night time. I'd rather sleep through the night. Let's do this thing. Oh, great! A squirrel. Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. 
Hey, we've got priorities. Let's go. All right, good boy, Chopper. News is a good doggy. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees, some snow, probably some more snow. And then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. All right, we need to. It's been really nice. No, I didn't expect it. I think oh my god. Proud. I still can't believe. Oh my Making god. Progress. Should we camp? Yes. God, you're talking too much. Your dogs are dying. <laughs> Take a break, pups. Food time. Chow down, pups. I think I only have the one. Yep, that's it. Might be time to get somewhere else. Should we go to sleep? Yeah. If I go to sleep, I'm going to be down to one bar. We need to get back, back on, on the, the trail. Trip. Ready to go? Not a fan, but I guess we have to. Or... Oh, no, what? We're gonna keep going left a little bit. Oh, there's an owl somewhere nearby. No. Oh, oh shit! shit. <sighs> so just a run by moose smacking to make sure I know where I am, huh? That scared the living shit out of me. Why did I go out there? All right, let's mush on. We really gotta try to find something else to to hunt. We really need to get more food. Things were going to plan. I really did, but now I'm not so sure. The moose rushed right at us. We barely made it out okay. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? Our instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. Please, something to eat. Please pop up something to eat. Are you okay, pups? I pushed you too hard. It's okay. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't think it could be that hard. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? Okay, I just have to be prepared. And hope the world is on my side. There's just so much ice. You have to finish what you start the caribou. I will learn to speak squirrel. Okay. So this is that this is where I'm gonna leave this one. Um this is a really cool premise for a game, I think. Uh I I think you start out a little bit too tough. Just like a little bit. I don't think you bring enough stuff, but that might be like the point. I think the point is that you're running through situations in your head of how bad it could be if you're not prepared for something like this. I mean, running the running the Iterod is like, I mean, it's a survival race, really. I mean, you're just hoping you don't die and you have to keep all your dogs alive. There's a lot of dogs. But anyway, if you like content like this, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that way you know when I post. I post about once a week, so go ahead subscribe to the channel because you know that would be great and also if you want to you can come follow me on twitch i stream every weekend and i play you know warzone with friends we're trying to get in some other games but you know you can come hang out it's a pretty laid back and chilled kind of thing so feel free to swing by give me a follow there too if you want to see more of that kind of stuff you can also follow me on any social medias i'm the most active on twitter you'll always see new videos that are you know being shown there and everything so go ahead and, and follow me on all those so that way you can see whenever i post new stuff and that's it for this one i will see you next time much love